Yes, uh, it was share. It was share holding. The, the Wangen transaction was about board. It was based on commission on the tonnage that he would mine. On the tonnage that he would mine, and I'll get a commission at the end of the day. On Unki, I refused for a commission. I then said I needed a share holding. I was a ten percent share, share shareholder. And all these tra tra transactions happened in front of people, people of re 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 repute. And when I'm sitting with, with, with national leaders and we agree, I consider the deal signed and sealed. Okay. But yes, we have a problem again with politicians who are angry, who then, who, who then circumvent you so that they can go through. It's also normal business practice. Whether it's normal business practice, I don't know. But in Zimbabwe, we would call it normal business practice. Where you take somebody to, to a leader, but the next thing that leader is circumventing you is dealing with that. So there was an exchange of many brown envelopes. And the time will come when we shall name who received the envelope and who did not. This was my sweat. I worked for it. And I, I told him that yes, you might not pay me, but none of your business will think prosper. Because my spirit and the God I pray will not allow you to prosper. And that's all I say to him. Thereafter, I've never spoken to him. And you can see the thing problems in his enterprises today. Because he's not a genuine businessman. He's not honest. He is a crook. He is a crook. And his excellence is, is on record in saying that, can we vet every businessman that comes into the country? We seem to think, take crooks to think him, who destroy the economy and the people at the end of the day. 